Despite possible mass fraud, Biden-Harris may soon restart a program letting thousands of illegal immigrants apply for U.S. entry from their home countries. The program, which lets Cuban, Haitian, Nicaraguan, and Venezuelan migrants apply for legal entry, was paused just last month after an internal audit found potential fraud with over 100,000 applications, having just over 3,000 sponsors. Hmm, that's definitely curious. Here to react, Fox News contributor and retired acting ICE director Tom Homan. Tom, can we just start from the very beginning? Why are we doing this? We have a legal way to apply to enter into our country. And we're restarting a program where we know people who've come through this program have come in here fraudulently, have killed and raped Americans, and they're restarting it. Why? What's happening? It's just another way to then bring illegal aliens in the country. They can they put them in a bucket with CHNV, this program, or they can put thousands into the CBP-1 app. They're talking about the same illegal alien population. They create these programs, what they call legal pathways, which they aren't. They're illegal. But they're creating these buckets, Rachel, so they can say illegal entries are down when they're not. If you add what CBP, what Border Patrol is still catching, entering illegally, what's coming through the port of entries, what's coming through this program, we're still at historic highs. And this, this recent program, the CHNV, I wrote an op-ed in February when they announced this program, before they even started it. And I said in that op-ed, Fox News op-ed, this program would result in massive fraud and massive child trafficking. And it has. You mentioned possible fraud. Let me give me one, I'll give you one example of the fraud of this program. And this comes from an inside source who was managing the program, very good friend of mine. One dead man sponsored 1,800 people. He's been dead for years, and he's the sponsor of 1,800 people. That's the type of fraud. I'm telling you, there are thousands of children are, are in sex trafficking because they were sponsored by sex traffickers and criminal cartels are already in the United States. This is a terrible program that put a lot of children at risk. I want to get to the children, but I just want to make very clear to our viewers, you're saying that this program was set up because if you're registered or you're processed in a foreign country, which is what this program does, you get processed by a, an NGO in Peru and in, in, in some other country, and then you're flown over here, then you're not actually counted in the numbers crossing the border without paperwork. So this is a way for our government to make it look like they've done something to lower the number of people coming over illegally when, in fact, they're increasing it. Um, let's get to the children, because this is actually the most tragic thing I've ever seen. I cannot believe that our <coughs> government is complicit in losing three track of 300,000 children who you have said have fallen into slave labor, many of them, and sex trafficking. Absolutely. You know, I, mean, I noticed the interview with J.D. Vance the other day, the reporters beating up, you know, beat him up, said, hey, during the Trump's mass deportation operation, you're going to separate families like you did before. Let, let me make something clear. It wasn't family separation, it was zero tolerance. About 2,500 separations happened because the parents were prosecuted for entering the country illegally, which U.S. citizen parents get separated every day, thousands of times across this country. Mm -hmm. When a parent gets arrested, the child can't go to jail. Right. So you're talking about 2,500 of these cases. Meanwhile, they got over 300,000 missing children. You tell me what's worse. And, and the thing is, based on my three and a half decades of investigative experience in, in human trafficking and alien smuggling, I guarantee you, Rachel, Many of these children are living with predators. Yeah. Some of these children are in forced uh, sex trade, in forced labor. And no one's even looking for them. I in know. my sources of ICE, no one's even looking for them. So I, I, I make you this promise. When President Trump's president again, we will go rescue these children and I save them. I asked Donald Trump in my interview with him that I had with Pete and Will um, at Bedminster, I asked him directly, would you locate these children? Will you promise to find the children that the Biden administration has lost? And he told me straight up, that's easy. Absolutely, yes. One last thing I want to note. When you were in charge um, of, of uh, in, in charge of uh, Homeland Security and, and, and Border Patrol, um, there was a, a letter sent by Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, and, um, uh, oh, and Laura Bush, all three of them, saying, we're so upset, we're, we're writing this letter to defend the children, to fight for the children that Donald Trump has separated at the border. Where are they now? Shame on them. Um, I appreciate you joining us, Tom. It's really, it's really great to have you, and thank you for bringing attention to this very important topic. Thank you. Thanks for having me. 
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.